Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Guess what's back? Back again. Boxes are back. So, tell your friends. We are back doing unboxings here on the channel, and we've got a subscription box from abox.com. You can see the link for them in the background here. Uh, obviously, I've been in touch with them, and they actually offered to send me a subscription crate. As you can see, it is actually the Alien Covenant subscription crate for this month, and I have not opened this yet, but it is a hefty, hefty box, <laughs> as you can see. So, um... Yeah, this is for a couple of friends of mine. Uh, I'm going to be sending you guys the links for this directly. I think you may want to kill me for what's inside this because I've already stolen a little peek, but I haven't actually like opened up what's inside here. So, the Alien Covenant box at 50 bucks, <laughs> 55 bucks for the box. Um, the first thing that comes with it, as soon as you open it up, <laughs> I can't even get my fingers in around the box of it. This is this. It is a poseable replica face hugger from Alien Covenant. And I, I'll be honest, this is cre... Uh, oh man. Oh man, it creeps me right just even looking at this fucking thing. Uh. <laughs> well, look at this motherfucker. Ah, uh, that is fucking cool. So yeah, it is a poseable, rubberized alien fist hugger. Um, I know a couple of friends of mine have actually like uh, had ones made up, or they actually have bought ones previously. But this is cool for like this is the kind of prop that I would actually like to have. I like the concept of uh, a crates kind of like there. There's a high end item, and then they kind of like filled up with other things as well. So we'll pop the fist hugger up here. I've seen, uh, yeah, I was, I, I, there's a wee piece of paper that actually shows you what else is inside the second half of the box, but I thought I would actually just check this out before I'd actually give myself a pre-look, but we're just going to drop everything out here, and yeah, that's everything out of the box. <laughs> nice. That's pretty convenient. So, uh, let me bulk her back on it. That's not too bad. William Dutani, USCSS Covenant. <laughs> that. Now, baseball caps never fit me, but this one's actually not too bad. And it's just like to actually get the sit on right. So, uh, baseball cap, Wheeling Utani baseball cap, not too bad. Um, I these kind of hats never ever fit me normally, but this one's actually not. This is actually a nicely shaped. It doesn't feel like um, sitting too high on my head. They always feel like baseball caps sit about here, <laughs> like what a really loose cap. So uh, we've got Alien Covenant pin badges, a set of six pin badges. Oh, wow. Okay. These are actually quite nice. Um, nicely detailed uh, pin badges. Each one of them being either of the Covenant, uh, Flight Team, Oregar, for the Whaling Yutani logo. It's actually uh, cool. Uh, like, uh, I've never been a pins person. Um, even whenever I was getting the loot crates, I never actually really cared. I cared, didn't care about the pins. I kept them. I put them aside and actually put them on a nice wee bandolier to make them look cool, but never really had a big excitement for them. And a Alien Covenant bottle opener, face hugger bottle opener on a keychain. So, take that out. Bottle opener on a key fob, face hugger. So that's actually quite. It it doesn't fit the the idea of the crates being like on a single theme and then actually having a bunch of objects related to that theme is pretty badass. I think the last thing in here is a t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is a t-shirt. Let me double check it here. Yeah, so a t-shirt with a facehugger print. So the big theme really for this is facehuggers. I mean, that is the um, alien series altogether, really, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty much, it's face-raping aliens that actually uh, then just get and dig their way out. And the Alien Covenant, obviously being a continuation of Prometheus, but not really aliens not point one or not point five. Yeah. I'm not, I'm, I'm, well, I'm I've actually given up on the Alien series back after Alien 3. Alien Resurrection wasn't too bad. AVP put me off, even a Predator as well. So the two franchises have actually been very, very weak to me, but I was a huge, huge fan back in the Dark Horse comics days and the novelizations of the Aliens and Predator franchises. 
But the, I did not know what this crate was going to be whenever it arrived. It's fucking cool as hell. What they actually put into it. The um, facehugger on its own, just for uh, a prop to be on, to have sitting around. This is awesome. I, I absolutely adore it. Uh, that's, that's fucking terrifying. I have difficulty holding it because it freaks me out a little bit too much. If you, the one thing that would made it worse, if the fucking thing had came in an egg, that would just mess me up all day. Um, T-shirt, I'm probably, I'm not gonna open this up actually. I'm gonna just, just throw up the image here and let you see what it looks like. That's actually the T-shirt there. Because I don't know if I actually want to take it out of the packaging yet. Is it? Oh yeah, no, it's, I was wondering if, I thought it was like a sealed bag, but it's actually just a plastic bag. Well, I'll get it out here and get a proper look for you guys. Just have a wee looky-see at the t-shirt. That's what, of, it is a sealed bag. It's a medically sealed t-shirt bag. <laughs> right. A band and chip on it, we got it open. Um, do, do, I don't know who the apparel company is. But the T-shirt feels like it's of a really, really good quality. Uh, this is a this is a, a massive tonal shift from the Loot Crate ones that I got that felt okay on a lot of occasions, but did not feel this like a good weighty material to it that actually looked like it would last. But yeah, there we go. There's our alien shirt, our face hugger. So uh, yeah, face hugger, looking pretty badass. Does that actually look good on me? Yeah, red and black, man. I can pull that off. It works well with my beard. So, um, yeah, that, not, not a lot in these crits, but uh, obviously it goes for, it goes to the opposite of, of what Luke Crit did, which was as much as it can fit into a crit, but lower in the quality. We want this, just for the size of it alone, um, just for the quality of the packaging. The, it reminds me of the early days of the Luke Crit DX, which was a good time. It definitely was a good time. And um, I think, I think A-Box actually, as a brand, I didn't know much about them before I reached out to them uh, to ask about the a subscription crate and a test route crate. And this is, uh, like, the, this is, this has blown me away, really, honestly has. Because the quality of the build of the Facehugger replica, it's, it, compared to, like, the little cuddly toy Facehugger I got from a little crate a well long time ago, it's, um, the, the, the crate alone was for that. And I can see stuff that pops up in the background here, where it shows other uh, merchandise that may have actually been available. I, I'd be on board with getting that kind of like quality merchandise on a regular basis. So uh, what does this say? Thank you for your order. Help us spread the word of A-Box taxes in your, tag us in your unboxing video by July 30th. Well, of course. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll actually make sure the best subscription company through delivering your authentic quality products each time. That, that surprised me and that's pretty damn awesome. Seriously, uh, well packaged, beautifully actually rendered together. I mean, li literally everything for everything from the box to the actual build feel, the actual quality of product. That actually was that. That's that's kind of, that, that. Even though it's simple pins and a bottle opener, a T-shirt, a hat, and a cool p movie prop. You know what? That's all you need to do if you actually keep. A theme really solid and tight. I mean, I think the next one they're going to be doing is probably going to be a Spider-Man one. I'd be hellishly fucking interested in seeing that. You know, I just say, <laughs> like a, a replica web cartridge just for the environment. They'll, they'll, they'll do something weird as hell, but it'd be really interesting to see. Um, I'm curious what's going to be done with crates that aren't a specific theme, that are not a, a single movie or a franchise. What happens whenever they do one that's actually a mixture of movies together? Do they, do, does the create itself take a, a suffer a little bit or does it actually manage to maintain itself as actually being um, a cohesively interesting create? Only time will tell. Um, hopefully the guys from A-Box feel like uh, they want to try this again sometime because I would happily do another unboxing, but they, I, I'm completely, I'm blown away, completely caught off guard by how good the actual like stuff is. I'm taking this alien back out again. <laughs> this is, this, I put him back in the box and it was actually like, it's because I was weirded out by it. The smell itself as well. It's because it actually is a rubberized creature. Oh, man. That creeps me out. Oh. Damn. Oh, it's just one giant creepy hand. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. That's a, it's like I'm losing words because I'm actually getting unnerved by a piece of plastic that's sitting right behind my shoulder. It just uh, the the fear in me of you know, seeing that scuttle away or looking back and it not being there is way too high. So um, yeah, guys, uh, I, I've got to put this guy away again. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed watching this Zoom unbox, I've obviously done ones for years previous. I haven't done one for a while. It's just like be no real reason to do so. But um, yeah, thanks very much to the guys from Abox for actually sending this out. I can, I will not be able to sleep comfortably until I put this into somebody else's house. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed looking at this, I recommend you hit the link that'll be shown below or in the cards to the side that'll link you back to Abox to check out their um, monthly crates. And of course, uh, check out the rest of the unboxings I've done well in the past. And if you actually feel like it, you can hit the subscribe button. Uh, it'll be somewhere around here and um, whenever you hit the subscribe button you'll be able to see a lot of the content that comes out here on the channel also of course if you're on YouTube there'll be a few boxes floating around my head one of them will be a playlist other ones will be actually re recent episodes and one will be one chosen specifically for you if you don't want to actually feel like uh, subscribing to the channel you can always just search for me under past your skin I'm not trying to hide you can always find me and I hope to see all you guys in the next unboxing bye